All right, welcome to this video on how to investigate a function. There are three main areas we need to look at when investigating a function. One of them is looking at finding the x and y intercepts, the maximums and minimums, and then last of all, the intervals of increase and decrease. In our course, you've already learned how to find x-intercepts and y-intercepts. But just to go through it again one more time, the first thing you have to do is make sure you look at typing your equation in the y1 equals of your calculator and then going to y2, pressing second trace 5, and then moving your cursor over by the intercepts and pressing enter, enter, enter. Here's an example on the screen in the top right corner here. If you turn on your calculator, you'd go y equals, enter your calculator equation in here, uh, put in the second equation as 0, and again, if I want to find the, the inter x-intercepts of this equation right here, I would press second trace 5, enter, enter, enter. It'll find the intercept closest to the origin. Then if I want to find the other intercept over here, I would then press second trace 5, move the cursor over by the other location, and then press, now that I'm close over here, press enter, 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 and that's the other x-intercept. If you ever want to find a y-intercept, you just see, need to, to press uh, second graph, and then when you press second graph, all you're going to look for in the table is the zero value for x, and there's your y-intercept at zero, negative eight. That's all there is. The second part in investigating a function is finding the minimums and the maximums of the, of the graph. Sometimes the graphs swerve up and swerve down. What we have to do is be able to find those maximum and minimum points. So just to refresh your memory here is what we have to do is press second trace three. In this example that I have here on the, on the calculator, when I hit for this equation right here and I hit graph, I see that I have a minimum here. So I would want to try to do second trace three. So when I press second trace three, second trace three, the cursor has to be to the left of the lowest point because it says left bound, as it says on here too. Move the cursor to the left of the minimum value and then press enter. Then you want to make sure this cursor here moves over to the right hand side by hitting the right arrow and then it goes past the right of the lowest point there. Hit enter again and then enter one last time and then it will say the minimum value of this graph. The minimum value will be as close as it possibly can, which is basically 1, comma, negative 6.5. That is the minimum value of this graph. If there happens to be a maximum, you can also do these kind of things too. If the parabola is upside down or the bump is upside down, you do these kind of steps as well. Good luck. And now for the final step of investigating a function, that would be finding the intervals of increase and decrease. The way you inve investigate the intervals of decrease on a graph are to start on the very far left. And as you move across this graph, whatever your pencil does, whether it goes up or down, tells you if you're increasing or decreasing. So as I follow this graph from left to right, my pencil is going up. So from the one on the x value here, as you can follow this, the intervals of increase are always determined off these numbers off the x-axis. So from 1 to 3, this graph is going to be increasing. Then from 3 to 7, this graph will be then decreasing. So if you're trying to write out the intervals of increase on your paper, you're going to be writing it down as from 1 is less than x, which is less than 3. And it, then as you're decreasing, the graph is decreasing from 3 to 7, so you're going to say 3 is less than x, which is less than 7. Also consider some things. You're going to be also having to, sometimes you have to use your calculator to find this maximum value. And sometimes the, the graph may then make a dip down here and you have to find a minimum value. So those skills you learned prior to this will also be needed to be included when finding out the intervals of increase and decrease. That's about it, and hopefully this video helps in getting you to be able to successfully investigate a function.